Hi, this is Bill Mounts, and I wanted to give you this short instructional video on how you install Flashworks version 4.5. I should tell you that when 4.5 first came out, it was a different installation process, but since then I've been able to fix some things and make it a lot simpler. It was interesting that earlier on in the 4.5 installation process, I had broken it down into lots of little pieces. You install the app, then you install the databases, and that kind of stuff. And I found myself wondering, why did I do that? And I realized back when I started Flashworks, you know, 56K modem was really fast. And the difference between a meg and a meg and a half download was substantial. And so I originally, 10 years ago, broke it into lots of little pieces, but don't have to do that now. So everything is in one installer. So the Flashworks installer will install the application and its support files. It will install both the Greek and the Hebrew databases both the Greek and the Hebrew fonts. And the only thing it won't install are the audio files. That's a separate download. Now it also installs the text file so you can create your own databases. So let me just walk you through this process. And I'm using a Macintosh here, but the Windows process is very, very similar. So you go ahead and download the Flashworks installer and then double click to run it. This screen is just telling you where the files are located when you're done, and I'm going to walk you through that. So you agree to that, and then go ahead and start the installer. Again, same basic information. Because it might be installing a font, uh, you need your system password, so go ahead and type that in and then say install. And that's basically it. And again, this is just a reminder of where the files are. But let me show you that because that's pretty important. One of the problems we were having with earlier versions of Flashworks on later operating systems was that the permissions had changed and they were crashing Flashworks. So what I did in 4.5 is that I separated out the application from the data. It's a necessary stage. So if you go to your computer and click in applications and go down, you're going to go find a Technia folder. And then inside there is your application. And you may want to take that and drag it over to your dock and, and put it there so you can access it. The databases are in your documents folder. So click on documents, go down, find Technia. Again, go inside Flashworks data. And here you have the Flashworks Greek.vdb, the Flashworks Hebrew.vdb, the folder that holds the text files so you can create your own databases. And as you can see, I've already installed the audio for the Greek and the Hebrew, and this is where they belong. So that's where all the locations of all the different files are. And from this point, you can just simply start it up. But because I've separated out the application from the data, it technically, the application doesn't technically know where your data is. So when you first start the program, you have to tell it where your databases are. So you get this error message. Well, it's a message. <laughs> it's not an error message. Click OK. Then what you're going to do is go up to File, Open, and then you're going to navigate to Documents, Technia, Flashworks Data, then you can choose whether you want to open the Greek or the Hebrew. I'm going to open the Greek. And we are ready to run. Now, if you don't want to do that every single time, you can tell Flashworks what database to open up by default. I'm sure you'll want to do that. So you go to Flashworks and Saved Preferences. Click on the Other tab. And then go down to where it says Default Database. Click on the Browse button. And it should be pointing to where you just were, to Flashworks Greek in this case, and say open. And now when you say OK, it's going to remember that. And the next time you open up Flashworks, it'll go to your default database. So you go through and you, if you want, you can mix up the words. You can choose manual. And you can start working through your words.